In local news, police officers are still looking for this unidentified man who is suspected of pedophilia to the seventh degree. Gross. Yeah, disgusting. What are we talking about? There's a pedophile on the loose. Gross. <laughs> Maybe you got Pete. Who? <laughs> yeah, hopefully you got him. <laughs> hopefully. Can't watch this anymore. Finally. What's up, fellas? Yo, yo. You're late to poker. Yeah, Frankie, I know. I had to pick up Fran. Fran? Yeah, he's a great guy. Hey, Fran, come on in here. Meet the guys. His name's Fran? What's that even short for? Who could possibly know? Frank? Fran? He's a good friend of mine, okay? So be nice. Good friend? How come we've never heard of him before? What's his last name? Something like Sovereign, Saver? He brought a stranger to our table? He's not a stranger. Okay, you don't even know his last name. I just told you his name, okay? Geez, I don't know his full name. I didn't read his birth certificate or anything. He's a cool guy, all right? And he gets me in at the Blanca Golf Club. Oh, is that the one on Riverside? That is a nice one. No, it's not. You're right. It's in the bags. Fran brought chips and salsa. Is that homemade salsa? I don't think so. What the hell is he even doing out there anyways? Sorry guys, I had to take that call. <gasps> Fran, come sit at the head, meet the guys. Fran, this is Chris, Jake, and Frankie. Guys, this is Fran. Hi. So, <clears throat> Fran, can I fix you a drink? Water, please. Ugh. Poker game and no liquor? There's no water here. What? What? <laughs> But Buster's my dog. Babe, 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 but. Jake, is everything okay? Nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing, Jake. Damn it, Frankie, I said it was nothing. Whoa, Jake. You can't be bringing those negative vibes to the table, okay? Well, Frankie's concerned, man. Look at him. Frankie, relax, okay? It's fine. Jess is leaving me for her gynecologist. Oh, yikes. I'm so sorry, Jake. It's fine. Let's just play cards. Just like always, blacks are 50, blues 20, reds 10, whites five. The game's Texas Hold'em. Small blinds 10, big blinds 20, aces high. Happy Thursday, men. Fran, you're small blind. Oh, right. No, Fran, only one. Oh. Okay, Jake, it's your bet. Okay, pot's right. Fran checks. Frankie? Check. So, Fran, where are you from? Uh, a small farm outside Des Moines. What brings you to the East Coast? A business. Fran, your bet. <laughs> no way. Not this early. Play a lot of poker, Fran? Not at all. I had to explain the rules on the way over here. And here's the river. It's you, Fran. Uh, check. Fran checks. Jake? 50. 50 to play, Fran. Okay, flip them. Wow. 
that I do it wrong? No, Fran. Full house beats flush. You won. Take your winnings. Oh. Thanks. What are you talking about? Oh. Hey, Fran. Need a napkin? <laughs> yeah, or what about a towel? <laughs> no, thank you. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, well, so what? Uh, <laughs> Funny story, actually. I was at Dick's because I needed a new wedge. What are we talking about? And Pete Jr. needed his first set of clubs. Isn't Pete Jr. like three? Two. Kid's got a hell of a drive, too. So anyway, I'm testing the new wedge when this guy comes up to me. Well, I had seen Pete Jr. from afar and thought I should see if they needed help with anything. Isn't he the nicest? I just showed them some clubs I thought he might be interested in. He even recommended a better wedge. So then we get to the counter and he knows the guy. He was an old friend. Even got us a discount. So the next thing I know, Fran and I are golfing at the Blanca, and the rest is history. Touching. So what? We just aren't gonna watch the game on Saturday? I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying that Jakey's got a soccer game too, and I can't miss that. Laura will kill me. Fuck that. Yeah. I'll get out of it. What about you, friend? You got any kids? Oh, no. Well, none of my own, anyway. What does that mean? Well, I, uh, I work with kids, so they may not be mine, but in a way, they are. That's sick. What? What do you mean you work with them? Oh, Fran's a teacher, second grade. No, I'm not. No? So, what do you mean? Well, I'm very involved in a nonprofit charity called Save the Children. Mm, that's it. Jake, it's your pet. What? It's your pet. Fold. Fuck. I also fold. Do you like working with children, Fran? All in. Honestly, I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Beginner's luck. Chris, I'm raiding your fridge. She even wants the car, too. And I'm like, she pays rent on the house, so I get it. Well, my first thought is no. And she loved the dog like I loved the dog. Although my first thought is also no, but the car. That was my car before we started dating. It's not even that nice a car, like. Fuck you, Pete. What do you know about cars? I know I just souped up my hot, sexy 08 Camaro. Oh, 08. I have a 1968 Ford Mustang. Not some Chevy Justin Timberlake crap. Justin Timberlake? Did I say something funny, Fran? Yes. Do you drive, Fran? Mm-hmm. What do you drive? Oh, uh, mainly cars. Though I have driven some trucks and actually a good amount of off-road vehicles. I mean, do you have a car, Fran? Oh, um, well, I have a nice van. Yeah. You know, for the children. Like a minivan? No, uh, it's an E250. It was cheap and convenient. I have to use the bathroom, excuse me. Pete, what the fuck? What? Are you serious? 
You cannot be serious. I still can't believe you used all the roast beef. Okay, okay, I get it. He's a little off. All right, but he gets me at the Blanca Golf Club. Also, Chris, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how much roast beef was on here until it was all gone. Thank you for admitting your faults. Pete, what the fuck? I do not get into the golf club. Me neither. Yeah, neither does Frankie. Listen, Pete, I am sorry I didn't say this to you earlier, but I cannot believe you brought some random guy to our poker night. You actually did say that before. He's ruining everything with his chips and his salsa and his, and, and his little mustache. And look, he's stealing all our money. Well, that's poker, baby. No, that's not poker, baby. He might as well be sleeping with my gynecologist. Oh boy, he gets me in at the Blanca. Oh, that's it, Pete. That's it. You're spending all your time at the Blanca with Franca, and it's hurting our relationship. Really dramatic, don't you think? No. How is Fran hurting our relationship, Jake? She's ruining everything. How? Don't you see, Pete? Can't you see it, Pete? Pete, do you not understand? Jake, what? He's a money-stealing pedophile! Pedophile? Yeah, that's right. We've seen the news. Jake, what are you talking about? I'm talking about... I'm talking about that news story! That is a violation of the Whoa, Fran, I swear I have no idea what he's talking about. Or why he's being so rude. Perfect! Jake, are you just being a sourpuss because I took all your money? Oh, shit! Damn, friend, where has this been all game? You disgust me. You, you fucking, you fucking die, don't, you fucking, fuck! Damn! Sit down. You're drunk and you're pissed. Fuck yeah, I'm pissed. He's, he's a fucking pedophile. Hey, you don't know that. Oh, really? Tell me that's not him. Jake, I... No, don't you say a word to me. You should be locked up for life. Better yet, dead. local pedophile has been brought into custody. His name is Michael, or Michelle Savior. Michelle was found running through a parking garage, naked, yelling, I'm sorry, Francis. I'm sorry, Francis! I'm sorry, Francis! I'm sorry, Francis. I'm sorry. Michelle is the twin brother of two-time Purple Heart winner and one of the most inspiring philanthropists of the past decade, Francis Savior. I said sovereign. I said sovereign. You're serious? Francis, what? or Fran, as he is known by his beloved friends, is a tremendous man who has helped to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars in helping to cure children's cancer, while this year alone sponsoring 50 children in their escape from poverty and famine. Wow, what an all around gentleman. Fuck. What are we gonna do? Uh, we? You mean what are you gonna do? Uh, I gotta call Jess. I'm really gonna miss the Blanca. Also, just yesterday, Fran saved a box full of kittens from a burning tree.